At first glance, it looks like a canoe with a turret and it comes with a log stowed in case of emergency. This Polish beast may look odd, but it's ready for its time in the spotlight. Introducing the first Polish premium tier 8 tank. The 50TP prototype. What's it like? What's good about it? What are its weaknesses and how do you play it? Let's find out. Like with any newcomer in World of Tanks, appearance matters. Delve deeper and the Polish prototype is more than a canoe. A streamlined turret, a steel helmet, a machine gun, a pike nose, beautiful sides and... What? Large tracks. Hmm. Were they even made for this tank? Looks like our hero's wearing the wrong shoes. Well, you may not know this, but Poland has some great ski resorts. But wouldn't this slow you down on the slopes? Not even a little. The traverse speed is close to 40 degrees per second. Among all Tier 8 heavies, only two tanks can spin quicker. Spinning circles around the 50 TP is almost impossible. Its top speed is 35 kilometers per hour. Not too fast, but not slow either. It's comparable to the T-32 and ISM. The power to weight ratio is 14 horsepower per tonne, granting good acceleration and hitting your 35 kilometers per hour. In reverse, the tank reaches 14 kilometers per hour. Very common for a heavy, but retreating will cause some difficulties. Luckily, it's not often that you're forced to withdraw. Which means getting to a key position won't be difficult. Of course, there will be enemies waiting for you, but the pole is prepared. Firstly, you can use an elegant or not so elegant move to check for opponents. And secondly, the prototypes got some armor. Of course, when we talk about armor, we don't mean the lower plate. The 50TP's plate has an effective thickness of 170 millimeters, a good value, but it won't make the tank invincible. This will be problematic for tier 6 or 7, but higher tiers won't have any trouble penetrating it, with a few exceptions. On the other hand, the upper plate, it can easily be seen as it forms a pike nose. But don't say it's the same as the IS-3. The armored plates are set at an angle of more than 70 degrees, greatly increasing the chance of a ricochet. If you're looking straight at the enemy, the upper plate is impenetrable, even for tier 10s. Angle the body, and it's still strong. The only weak spot of the upper plate is the driver's cabin. It seems to have been designed by the Illuminati. You'll likely penetrate the 50 TP's armor if you aim for these tiny triangles at the front or sides, but again, even top tiers won't be able to punch through every single time. Yet be careful. One jarring turn of the chassis and hello penetration. In addition to the frontal armor, the pole boasts skirts. To put it simply, this tank can side scrape, but only at an angle to ricochet. And please don't overstep your mark. You have been warned. The heavy's turret, like the upper plate, has a small vulnerability, and it's not uncommon. The commander's turret is not the most protected part of any vehicle. On top of that, don't expose your turret's sides. The grooves on these can be penetrated by everyone. Don't worry though, targeting these areas can prove extremely difficult. The rest of the turret is close to perfect. The nominal 210 mm of streamlined armor is transformed into an impassable object for enemy shells. And this statement isn't unfounded. As far as the turret is concerned, the pole can be compared to the champion of Tier 8, the T-32. At a distance, hitting these vulnerabilities is difficult. 
The armor it has also makes it very thick-skinned, in the truest sense of the word. However, the T-32's turret is coupled with good depression angles. What do we have here? The 50TP has good angles. It's just 2 degrees lower than the T-32, which has 10. So you can use the terrain to your advantage. But there's a catch. Remember those huge tracks? Let's see what happens if you try to play the pole the usual way. Roll out, get tracked, receive damage. Sad story. To avoid those situations, you must do it like this. Hide your tracks and reach the enemy. In this position, the depression angle increases to 10 degrees. Now it's time to deal some damage. The 50TP has the best damage per shot among Tier 8 heavies. 440 points. Only a few tanks can boast the same numbers. The 50TP has great accuracy. The spread at 100 meters is 0.4. Of course, he's no sniper, but this is a great advantage for an armored heavy with big alpha. The aim time is also good, 3 seconds. Penetration with a standard shell, 218 mm and 245 mm with APCR. But reloading is a weakness, taking a long 14.2 seconds. It can be decreased to 11.23 with a little tinkering. Brothers in arms, vents, rammer and bread with Smalek. Still, even with a fully enhanced loading system, you'll have to time your shots and make sure they count. The gun characteristics are sufficient for the pole to fulfill its main task, dealing damage. Poke out, shoot, and hide in the shadows again. This is its playstyle. The armor is similar to a classic heavy tank. Soak up that damage. Good gun depression and a strong turret allow you to play using the terrain. And the Alpha makes it as efficient as possible. Roll out, deal damage, roll back. That's the way to play this Polish Heavy. This tank might not be a Punisher, but it's no punching bag either. It has both strengths and weaknesses, so don't let its appearance fool you. This is a tank with character.